Every time you go to the hospital or get a prescription, information known as data are recorded about your visit. These data are held securely by Public Health Scotland and they can be made available for researchers to use. Researchers have to go through a thorough application process to access these data and can only do so under tightly controlled conditions. No identifiable information such as names are attached to these data, so researchers don't know whose data they're looking at. These data can help us to answer important questions such as what treatments work best or how to improve services. Researchers from the University of Dundee work with people who attend Restoration Fife, a community organisation for people in recovery from drug and alcohol use, to find out how people feel about services and researchers using their data. Services have our data, but they're not always good at sharing it, even when that's what we want. This means that we have to keep telling our story over and over again. That is the worst thing about it, I mean, especially if you've been in and out the homeless. You get different doctors everywhere you go and you have to explain it yourself all over and over. And there's some things in your past that you just don't know to explain. A lot of the information that's been gone round and round and round that if it had been shared at the appropriate times and appropriate places, there's a lot of things could have been prevented. For some, this needed consent. Data is currently shared in Scotland without consent, but some people disagreed with this. Some information is good to share, but healthcare practitioners and researchers should always ask for consent every time. It only takes another second and another signature to say you're okay with sharing your information. I don't mind sharing my data. I don't know what they're taking. So what am I worth? Unfortunately, the path we've chosen in life, people always judge us because they have our information. You may have changed, even stopped taking drugs, but you will forever be branded as an addict because people have your information. Stigma is always there. Because of the stigma, we have a constant worry about who has our information and what they're doing with it. Can you just didn't go straight in there and, and start flabbing all your data to everybody. You've got to stop and you've got to think. You've got to think about who you're, who you're talking to. You've never met these people. And you've got to respect people's data. It's a good thing, can data if it's used the right way. Data is about people, so be careful how you use our data. And I need to know how my data are used and make sure it's confidential. I have been in the background all my life and it's time to shine, my data can help. Data can be a way to connect and help each other.